Hey guys, welcome to Susan Shares today. Listen, I'm so sorry I didn't post on Monday. It got a bit crazy this last weekend. Uh, Steve was out of town and the electricity went off. A bird flew in the house. This is all after we talked about uh, 1 Peter 5, 7, casting all of our anxiety to him because he cares for us. And after I had said, man, my week had, has been tough. And then what did the enemy do? Boy, he hit me even harder. And that's what happens sometimes, isn't it? So that bird was flying around and I had some 10 year old girls coming over for me to fix homemade donuts for a birthday party. Uh, on top of all of that, my son, my oldest son comes over and gets the BB gun and shoots the bird in the house. It was crazy around here. And then my youngest son who's getting married next week in LA, he and his future bride and her mother flew in from LA on that Monday is why I didn't post. And it has just been a whirlwind and, and through it all, you know, I just have to, I, I just look up to, uh, to God and through it all, I give so much thanks. And uh, underneath this posting, uh, I want you to look at some of the pictures from from a blessing that was given to the future bride and my future daughter-in-law. It was a shower and Chad, I mean, and Jake and Mariah uh, were blessed with uh, wonderful friends that, that blessed that couple. And I'm reminded there's always so much to be thankful for and we're so blessed in so many ways, all of us are. Even in the midst of chaos, you know, uh, God is certainly not the author of chaos. He brings such order, uh, even from the beginning of time, he brought order from chaos. And, um, and he always does. And there's so much to be grateful for and thankful for friendships, for family. Um, and, and there always is, always something to be grateful and thankful for. And even our anxiety, as we're learning to cast our scripture, cast all your anxiety upon me because I care for you. And what does caring for you mean? What does caring for me mean? I'm learning that uh, because of all the opportunities I'm giving uh, for, for this anxiety because there's so much anxiety going on right now in my personal life, so much stress involved in my personal life. I don't know about you. So what are we going to do about that? Is it gonna cause us uh, to do things that we normally wouldn't do, cause lack of sleep, cause our schedule to go out of whack, cause us to be irritable to the people that we love? Are we gonna give this up to Jesus and to separate person and issue, to give our schedules to God, to slow us down and to spend time with Jesus and to ask him to order our day and, and to, to defeat the enemy by trusting in God and say, I choose you, God. And, and he just, as I did that this week, he just showed me all the things that I have to be thankful for. And it's such a blessing. So I hope that word of personal testimony, as we are continuing to learn what it means to cast our anxiety uh, to him because he does in fact care for us, that we can be thankful even in the midst of anxiety and frustration and trial, just as it says in scripture uh, to do. So I hope you practically are learning to, to utilize this verse uh, uh, in a day, on a day-to-day -day basis. So, um, Enjoy this verse, cherish this verse, learn and study this verse, and hide it in your heart. Uh, Jesus loves you. I do too. Have a great day. Bye-bye.